You're my sister. You could be, you could be any woman in my life, really. It's, it's the same thing I need to say. Amends. That's the hardest and most rewarding part of this whole thing. You just put something out there with no hope of getting anything back. Like, like a prayer, I guess. I mean, amends. It has the word amen in it. I used to have a temper. I still do. It's just different now. You poured a bottle of Smirnoff down the sink. Vodka, to me, was like spinach to Popeye. I broke your jaw. I stomped your ankle. I broke your ankle too. You forgave me. You let me stay that Christmas. I stole your kid's new bike from under the tree. I flogged it that Christmas Eve. My gran, she raised me. Cancer. I took her pain relief. I'd hear her calling out, trying to scream, and I'd, I'd be like, Sorry, Nan, there's nothing left. They, they must have made a mistake again. And now she's dead. So how am I supposed to make amends for that? Sorry, I, I didn't really plan what to say. I, I just felt like sharing, so I got up here and started to talk. I used to go days without talking to anyone. But this, here, now, being seen, listening and being listened to, it's saving my life, I think. Seen. Great. Okay, how was that for you? It felt like I was um, making progress, but still like, kind, of, like, kind of like trying too hard. Okay. Okay. Great. All right. So let's go again. Let's think about our obstacle a little bit more. Okay. Here you are in front of all these people. Are they strangers? No. You know them well? Yes, fairly well, but in this like somewhat limited capacity. Have you done this before? I think that I've gotten up before. Definitely make this time harder than it's ever been before. Okay. That's important so that we have a lot to work with and a lot of meat to kind of struggle with. Yeah. Can't be easy. It's got to be exceptionally hard. So either it's the first time or it's the first time in yeah. front of Emma. But for some reason, today's got to be way different and way harder than any other, day, any other time. Got it. For now, take the pressure of acting off of yourself. Cool. Just, just say these things and, and, and hear yourself saying them. Yeah. And know that it's true that you have done that. You poured a bottle of Smirnoff. Okay. When you, just, okay. when you did that, how did that do, what did that do to you? How, how, relive that emotion. What were you feeling as you saw that Smirnoff go down the drain? Yeah. Do you drink vodka? Me? Yeah. Um, well, sometimes. I want you to live in vodka. <laughs> okay. okay. Vodka is, is that good. Okay. So good. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Ooh, I, need okay. one. I need some right now. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Got yeah. It. Okay. I stomped your leg. I, I broke your ankle. 
Can you can you see that? I want you to see that. Yeah. I, and I yeah. want you to hear the bone cracking. Yeah. You did that. You yeah. did that. Yeah. And that crack will never leave your mind ever again. Yeah. You'll always have it with you. Yeah. Okay. Now now she's dead. Now she's dead. So how how do I amend for that? And that word, how do I amend for that? Yeah. You've arrived back. I want you to connect yeah. that. How do I amend? Yeah. This is a this is a um, a word we've heard. Yeah. Today. Take us back there. Use that word. How do I, you know, give the, give us that word back? Yeah. Like like right. this, this is where we've come. Right? right. Like that had significance. Mm -hmm. So what we've just done is we've mm -hmm. taken this monologue and, and made it a lot more personal for you. Everything you say and everything you're experiencing has to have a visceral effect on you. Yeah. And without that visceral effect, they're just words. But when you yeah. get that sort of emotion and that visceral effect underneath it, then it really turns into drama. I, I wouldn't say this is ready. I would say now mm -hmm. you should probably rehearse this on your okay. own for like a week because there, there's a little bit more we can put on it but i kind of need what we've just done to kind of live inside of your body mm -hmm. and then once that we've you've done that we can kind of take the next step because right now you're, you've turned the monologue inward there's a lot of what you're doing which is working for you which is great which ultimately probably wouldn't serve you well in an audition room um but we need to turn it inward we need to do that first to find it and then once that's strong, we can then take it and put it out there and then get, get it back up to sort of a performance style and, and make gotcha, it yeah. ready. So, so it can't be done in an hour, but it's a step. And, and I would recommend maybe a couple of more sessions. And then I think we'll have this thing. Within three sessions, I think we could have this thing ready to go into an audition. Great. Yeah, totally. You're my, you're my sister. You could be any woman in my life, really. It's the same thing I need to say. Amends. That's the hardest and most rewarding part of this whole thing. You just put something out there with no hope of getting anything back. Like a prayer, I guess. I mean, amends. It, it has the word amen in it. Excellent. Andrew, fantastic. I, I thought it was really, really good. You're really dealing with things. Yeah. A, as the monologue goes on. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's 10 times better than when we, where we started. Awesome. Thank you so much. How, how did it feel for you? It felt more like organic, uh, like from the middle on. Like, yeah, the, the beginning felt a little forced or something. Like, I felt like I was like, fa like kind of faking. I felt like I was acting. <laughs> um, <laughs> Well, you were taking your time at the beginning, um, but you weren't putting the obstacle in your way, which yeah. is that it's difficult to do this right. and, and trying to find the strength to overcome that obstacle. In your prep, when you first start, what I yeah. want you to do is just think about how difficult this is a task. It's really, God, it's embarrassing. And just deal with that that horrible feeling of being exposed in front of a group of people. It's not a very comfortable feeling. And I want you to sort of find that discomfort. And this is what you can be doing like when you're waiting to go into the audition room, in the holding room. Yeah, right. Find that discomfort and, what, and, and, and think about knowing what you have to do now mm -hmm. and get that discomfort going for yourself so that it's there for you when you start the monologue and then you can try to work in the monologue to overcome that discomfort, yeah. and then you'll be good. I think now you can start to try to make this move a little faster. Yeah, okay. Right now, I think you're relying on those pauses to be able to, yeah. to get yourself in place and, yeah. and know that you can do it, and that's great. So now that you know it's there, tr maybe try to make those pauses um, shorter and shorter. Gotcha. And eventually, no pause at all. But that'll take another, probably another week of rehearsal. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, terrific. Yeah, give it one more go, and yeah. um, and and don't start until you've got that sense yeah. of discomfort at the top. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I broke your jaw, stomped your leg, broke your ankle too. 
but you forgave me. You let me stay that Christmas, and I stole your kid's new bike. Vlogged it that Christmas Eve. So new rule now going forward is you're not allowed to talk unless your eyes are open and looking at the person. Okay. I have to not just have the courage to say, I have to have the courage to look at you and... Yeah. So if, you're, if you lose the strength to look at her in the eye, just stop. <laughs> yeah, gotcha, gotcha, yeah. Right? Yeah. If you go in an audition and do the monologue with eyes closed, then the, the director's likely gonna think, oh, this guy's a good actor, but he needs to have his eyes closed to act, and yeah. you can't have that. I don't have <laughs> yeah. I, it's really happening for you. This monologue is really, if, if you can do it without the pausing, with the eyes open, you got a monologue that's ready to go. You're my sister. You could be any woman in my life, really. It's the same thing I need to say. Amends. Amends are the hardest and most rewarding part of this whole thing. You just put something out there with no hope of getting anything back. Like a prayer, I guess. I mean, amends, it has the word amen in it, right? Before you do the amends thing, I yes. want you to put more pressure on yourself to start talking faster. Okay. okay. I, I, I don't know what to... How do you even start? You know how when you have something important to say, you don't even know where to start? Where do I start? Mm. I, I just, I, I fucking just throw something out, amends. Do you know? So let me see you reach more of a crisis moment. Cool. And amends is just like a last ditch effort to keep it going. Okay, cool. I think it's got amend in it. It's, it's, I, I want yeah. you to hear yourself and just like, ugh, this is not going well at all. Great, great. Okay. So throw it away and start again. And then you start to, and then you start to list those memories. Yeah. And all of them are terrible. Yeah. And I want you to, it's like you're beating yourself up. You, okay. You poured the Smirnoff. God. Yeah. Relive that. How, yeah. how did you feel when that happened? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Relive each one of those things. Cool. Got it. And let, Got the, it. let the emotional response to each of them come up for you there. Great. Cool. I'm going to coach you through that transition. Just. Okay. Don't have anything to say and don't go on until, until you feel the need to. Okay, ready? Okay. I'll be there for you. Go ahead, take it again. Okay, okay, cool. You're my sister. You could be any woman in my life, really. It's the same thing I need to say. So what are you gonna say? What are you gonna say? What are you gonna say? What are you gonna say, Andrew? Time is going. Say something. Uh, am amends. Amends are the hardest and most rewarding part of this whole thing. Did you feel that? Yeah. Yeah. That's what we want without okay. me riding you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you can't be there. I broke your jaw. I stomped your leg. I broke your ankle. Each of those things that, that I, I snapped your leg, listen to the crack of the bone. Yeah. Yeah. What, and what did you do to her kid? You took his bicycle? Yeah. God, what kind of a guy does that? God, that's awful. That's awful. Really yeah. like relive those. I broke your jaw. I stomped your leg. I broke your ankle. And you forgave me. You let me stay that Christmas. I stole your kid's new bike from under the tree. I flogged it that Christmas Eve. My gran, she raised me. Cancer. I took her pain relief. I'd hear her calling out, trying to scream, and I'd be like, sorry, Nan. There's nothing left. They must have made a mistake again. And now she's dead. So how do I amend for that? I'm sorry. I didn't really plan what to say. I just felt like sharing. So I got up here and started talking. Those are the bases. So yeah. every time you rehearse it, you got to practice yeah. hitting those bases. Yeah. Yep. The, the, the crisis of amends, the throwing away that, that amends because it sucks. The um, each memory, the breaking of the bone, the stealing the bike, the smearing off. God, that was. I thought the first half was great. Okay, I do. Cool. I think that I think that you kind of let yourself coast towards the end. Okay. Sometimes you have a tendency to just kind of check out or back off okay. of it, or maybe go on autopilot. Is that what okay. it is? I think it's a, an attempt to not make the energy all at one level. 
it doesn't have to be all, the energy doesn't have to be on, on one level, but you can't stop being active is the problem. Right, right. S- right. Stopping being active is not a good way to get a different level. You got to just make a different choice. Yeah. And that choice could just be just a different action. Yeah. Just play a different totally. action totally. to confess, to give up, to surrender. Totally. Right. To, to, yeah. To resign yourself. I mean, these are, it's, it's just changing the action is, is what we want to do to change the energy. You want to give it one last go and see if you can do the whole thing? I really do. I really do. Okay. (laughs) You're my sister. You could be any woman in my life, really. It's the same thing I need to say. Um, Amends. Um, Amends are the hardest and most rewarding part of this whole thing. It's, uh, you just put something out there and with no hope of getting anything back in return, like a prayer, I guess. I mean, amends, it has the same, it has the word amen in it. I used to have a temper. I still do, it's just different now. You poured a bottle of Smirnoff down the sink. Vodka, to me, was like, like spinach to Popeye. I broke your jaw. I stomped your leg. I, I broke your ankle. And you forgave me. You let me stay that Christmas. I stole your kid's new bike from under the tree. I flogged it that Christmas Eve. My gran, she raised me. Cancer. I took her pain relief. I'd hear her calling out, trying to scream, and I'd be like, like, sorry, Nan, there's nothing left. They must have made a mistake again, and now she's dead. So how do I amend for that? I'm sorry, I didn't really plan what to say. I just felt like sharing, so I got up and started talking. I used to go days without talking to anyone. But this, being here now, listening and being listened to, it's saving my life, I think. <laughs>